the best choice of, of my young career was to go to Boston College. My experience of, of, of college hockey, of growing up, of all the social experiences that, that happened in college were, were unbelievable. They're, they're, they're life changing um, in a positive way. College hockey gave me the basis to, to be able to handle life in the NHL. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy, especially coming in as a young kid. It's not easy. But you, you, you develop the foundation uh, of what you're going to be um, when you're in school. And, you know, that, that, can, that just helps you. You're, you're not on your own. You're, I mean, you're on your own. You're with a team. You learn how to do your laundry. You learn how to manage your schedule. You learn how to, how to you know, uh, survive in a, in, a, in a different environment. You're on your own. But you're on your own with, with peers, with other kids your age that are going through the same thing and you survive. Nutrition, training, coaching, strength and conditioning coaches. These things are, they're, they're not just available to you year, or, uh, in, in the season. They're available to you year round. So you're training with the coach. You're on ice coach during the season. Monday, <coughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You're practicing. After practice, you hit the gym. But when you're in the gym, you're with a full-time strength and conditioning coach that you're his responsibility. And you have one to four years to get bigger, stronger, and faster. And that's huge. The, the games, and I know there's a big argument of more games, less games, what's better? Us at the Penguins, we, we look for quality over quantity. Um, we looked at the value in the college schedule of being able to practice, train, and then play. You have two, two games on the weekends, limited travel, full of energy. You're not tired, so you, you have all your energy to be able to execute at a high level. And you get to play in front of, you play, you play a high quality game in front of all your buddies, um, all your fellow students, they're all wearing their face paint and their chest paint and they're, I mean, you know, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. The place is electric. And on the flip side of that, you go into a hostile environment down the street, down the road at BU, and it's all red and white, and they all hate you, and it's a tough place to play. But you know what? We like that. We like that you guys have to go through playing in a hostile environment because that's going to happen and we want to see you succeed in that and it's also a great lesson you got to come together with your buddies and get through it it's a great avenue to the NHL and it's a great avenue for high prospects for middle range prospects for low prospects for a guy I was a first round pick Brooks Orpik was a first round pick Chris Kunitz was a free agent so it works well for everybody. I mean, Brooks and I were, were pretty high first round picks. We went in, you know, a lot of pressure, all this stuff. We, we wanted to make it to the NHL. Great. Chris had the same idea. He just wasn't a first round pick. But he went in, it took four years to get bigger, stronger, faster, develop as a person, and look where he is now. He's having a pretty good year. He's having a pretty good career for himself. But you will grow up. This, these are going to be some of the best years of your life. You're going to go experience all sorts of great things. You're going to, you know what? Uh, you make the best friends that you'll ever make. Uh, you go to some of the best parties you'll ever go to. Sorry, come on, Dad. But it's true. You know, I went to BC. The best thing we did: football games. Oh man, it was nuts. It was great. You can have millions and millions of dollars in your pocket all the time in the world. You'll never get that experience again. Never. Just in closing, guys, I, I don't know if I helped you or not or confused you, but what you guys can know about college hockey is that you cannot miss.